January the 4th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at images this morning of our sun. And uh, this is called the HMI Colorized Magnetogram. And what you're seeing in the different colors, the red is one polarity, the blue is another polarity. And you can arc between those. And this is the large sunspot area that came around this corner a few days ago and gave us the X5 flare. It's, we just had a new one. It's not quite an X flare, but it is more Earth-facing, and that's why I'm coming here. The video the other day, I mentioned that it very well could become more geo-effective as it moves this way, or Earth-effective, and that's what we're dealing with now. One thing about this area, they're saying this is a very unusual sunspot because normally you have side-by-side -side plus and minuses. or in, in other words, the blue area, like in this sunspot, and the red area that's trying to emerge will be left and right, not on top of each other. And so what they're saying about this one with the plus and minus, again, going vertical instead of horizontal, it is... Um, building up more energy for X flares. Notice how close they are together. It doesn't take very much to arc across that distance, especially with a sunspot this big. You've got a red area here. This area could become more active. And right here, look at the top. We can start and get the blue and the red. That's where you get your arcing. Let's look at the whole sun a moment. And you can see you've got a couple of smaller areas here. This one's about to go around the uh, right edge of the sun. Right here is a very large area of disturbance. And we're going to have to pay attention to it. Again, you can see the opposite polarities here, here forming, and here. And let's take a look at what has happened here this morning. Now, I've got this paused at 154 UT this morning on the 4th. And this flare erupted from that region to where we're seeing the uh, vertical stacking of the blue and red uh, magnetic areas. Let's play this forward. And this is an area, that, remember, as it was coming around this end, that's when we got that X flare. So it's still very active. That's the point of the video. And it is becoming more Earth-facing. Right there. See that? Let's take a look and see if they have started tracking any CME activity involved with this. Looking at the X-ray flux chart real quick, you can see this is the X line right there. See that, guys? And so we're just under its strong M-class flare, again, Earth-facing. This is going back three days. If we go back seven days, you can see the X flare right there that we dealt with. So we're not anywhere near that strong but this is a strong M flare, and they can throw out very powerful CMEs. But guys, uh, there's no models showing a CME at this time. We'll check back on it a little later. Sometimes it takes some time to get the information into the models itself. But uh, guys, yesterday I had a major computer crash. This is a different one, a backup we had. And uh, it was right after I'd done about two hours of getting information together and actually recording the videos that everything crashed. I had to take it down, put this one up. It took a long time to do it. Very interesting video on the anom uh, anomaly at the North Pole. And so I'll try to get some of that information back up. And I've got another project that could be one of the more important ones that I've done in the last 12 years. But we'll talk about that a little later today. But right now, we just kind of got this solar watch going on. Very cool here in southern Mississippi. And uh, sun's coming out, so it's going to be a good day. Can't complain about that. We're watching this, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.